Today we're going to continue painting the Warhammer Underworld teams. And let's pick from the middle this time and go with Stormsire Cursebreakers. Alright, so like last time, we're going to go as close as we reasonably can to the paint scheme. So it looks like we're going to need some golds, maybe a bronze, and some blues. We're going to start with a light to medium layer of old gold from the Artist Loft series of paint. This is going to create a nice shiny undercoating for all of the armored sections of the model. Now I didn't realize it at first, but the gloves that he's wearing are actually cloth, so we're going to correct that in future steps. While that's drying, we're going to use some raw umber to coat all of the sand and little pebbles that are on the base. Now we're going to use a light layer of basilicanum gray over all of the old gold. This is going to create a nice kind of a dark and dirty uh, gold metallic that is going to look really nice with a little bit of dry brushing. Next we're going to apply two layers of Talazar blue to most of the cloth sections on the wall. Now I'm purposefully ignoring the uh, kind of tabard that is hanging down the front. We're going to paint that in a darker color in a few steps. Now using some Retributor armor, I'm doing a kind of light-ish dry brush over all of the armored sections. Next I'll use some Black Templar Contrast paint to go over the gloves, as well as the front tabard. Now we'll use a little bit of raw sienna to do a light dry brush over all of the uh, sandy sections of the base. Next I'll use some glowing flesh to fill in the face. Now I'm taking care to not have any spillover because I don't have a lot of room to do any touch-ups or corrections. Next I'll use some Grey Knight Steel to fill in a lot of the accents and details on the model. Now a lot of these little highlighted sections are going to get a little bit of a wash to create some shadow effects later, but for the most part they're just going to be left as is. Next I'll use some Retributor armor to fill in the details on the staff. Now using some snake bite leather, I'm going to fill in the belt as well as the hand grip on the staff 
and a couple of other small details such as the sword scabbard and a couple of tassels. Now using some Aethermatic Blue, I'm going to create kind of a blue flame effect in his hand and go over all of these little vials and crystals that are hanging off of his belt. Now using some technical paints, I'm going to use the Spirit Stone Red to create a red gem on the tip of his staff. and then follow it up with some Soulstone Blue to create a nice uh, subtle blue uh, gem effect on the shoulder pads. While that's drying, we're going to use some Basilicanum Gray to go over all of the boulders that he's standing on on the base. To give the model a graying aged appearance, we're going to use some Null Oil to shade in the hair. And then follow it up with some shade on a couple of details for the staff and some of the silver trim. Now that the gemstone blue is dry, we're going to follow it up with some Talazar blue. And then some Retributor armor is going to be used to finish up a couple of details that were missed. Now using some Agrax Earthshade, I go over the entirety of the base to add shadow depth and a weathered stone appearance for the boulders. And then follow it up with some Gray Sear Light Dry Brush for the boulders just to give a little bit of lighting effect. Going back to the Aethermatic Blue, there's a couple of broken vials on the base. We're just going to go over those very quickly. Now using some Grey Knight Steel, I'm going to do a very careful edge highlight on the sharp corners of these little vials. This will help draw the eye to those locations and give a little bit of depth and definition to various areas of the model. And then we're going to finish things off with a little bit of Artist Loft Sap Green to paint all of these fallen leaves that are on the base. And here we are with the finished pieces. All right, these are a little interesting to put together and a lot of fun to paint. I really enjoyed the color scheme that came with the box, but I also enjoyed modifying it just a little. All right, everyone, so thank you for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe for future content, comment in the comment section, and we will see you all next episode.